Welcome to another episode of Matt Ryan Photo. And today we are going to discuss and explore the Olympus Pen Mini EPM2. This is a tiny, itty bitty, micro four thirds, digital mirrorless camera that's running in at 16 megapixels with a three inch, 460,000 dot, live view touchscreen on the back and over 120 plus lenses available for this little tiny camera. Now you can pick this camera up for less than $200 easily with body and lens. So if you're anything like me and you love the X100V, but you absolutely hate the price that people are just gouging everybody for, then look no further. The Olympus Pen is a fantastic choice as an alternative. Plus, if you lose it, it breaks, it gets stolen, it's not gonna hurt to pocket that much. You're talking less than $200 for this camera that takes wonderful photos. Plus, it just looks cool as hell. This is a very aesthetically pleasing camera and the ergonomics on it are perfect. When you have this camera down at your side, your pointer finger is exactly where it needs to be to power it on and take that shot real quick. The Olympus Pen Mini EPM2. This is a 16 megapixel, tiny little itty bitty camera. And the reason I'm showing this is because there's this huge, like bizarre like, trend going for the uh, X100V made by Fuji which is a digital point and shoot camera. Well, if you looked at the prices of them, they're ridiculous. You can't find them anywhere. And when you do find them, they're used and they cost more than what they actually uh, sell for in the store brand new, which to me makes very little sense. It's a good camera. It's a great camera with amazing features, but it just doesn't cut it for the price that it is. This right here, 16 megapixel, very tiny, very small interchangeable lenses on it so you can and it fits any micro four third lens it goes right on there it can be completely manual fully automatic um, and yes it does have a little bit smaller of a sensor but you know what for way under two hundred dollars this is probably the best bet to go with so i'm out here downtown minneapolis and as you can see we are having smoke issues so wildfires from Canada are coming in and clogging everything up just really cool smoke effect sunlight is orangey red so really cool lighting effect and I'm gonna take out the Olympus pen and do some street photography so follow along As you can see, lots of smoke in the atmosphere. Uh, it actually had a weird smell to it. it kind of smelled a little plasticky, so who knows what that's all about. And I don't know. In 50 years, maybe I'll find out. Anyway, about a mile of visibility. So it gave a really cool effect. But at the same time, I, I also don't really care for the photos. Uh, yeah, so all the photos I'm giving you right now are actually the JPEG straight out of the camera. Now this little camera also shoots RAW, which is a very nice feature and allows for you to do some nice editing. And the RAWs are a very nice little size. I think they're right around 14, 15 megabytes each or megabits each. No, megabytes? Yeah, megabytes. Anyhow, uh, the previous photos I showed you earlier were actually from the day before we didn't have any smoke pollution in the air and it was nice and sunny out so you can kind of see the difference between how they look there to how they look now and some of the photos that you're going to see here shortly i actually really liked with the smoke effect so it give a little take a little you know that type of stuff now right here i'm actually changing up my uh, metering style and i had it as just uh pinpoint or single point 
focusing and I changed it to area focusing just for this quick photo here. And it's really easy to do. There really is a lot of features to this little tiny camera. And yeah, it came out in 2013. It's 10 years old and it still shoots great. The LCD on the back looks fantastic. It's got very responsive touchscreen. And I think it weighs 300 something grams. It's super lightweight. You barely even notice it. And depending on which lens you're running on it, you, you could pretty much put it in your pocket. My goal here today was not to actually photograph people. It was actually to photograph the smoke coming in and kind of photograph the city and just the atmosphere. Coming up to this tree, I thought it was a cool way to kind of frame in uh, the city that, that you're about to see here. And as you can see on this camera here from my, my POV camera, you can't even see the city over there. It's barely visible. Um, like I said, there's a mile, maybe mi maybe less than a mile of visibility. It's just really crazy. Again, keep in mind that none of these photos are edited. They're just straight JPEGs straight out of the camera. Just to show you how the photos are and how it takes the photos. If you look behind me here, you'll see all that smoke. It's actually really cool. It's not good to breathe in, but whatever. All right, so here's the full HD 1080p recording on this camera. It's not very good. Um, I don't even know if it's focused on my face right now. So, um, it's not really designed for that. There we go. I hit that. Maybe it'll track my face or something. Uh, it's supposed to be tracking, but don't know how good that is. Anyway, this is the test for the video. This really isn't designed for doing video, but if you did need to do video in a pinch, it'll work. However, with this lens on there, you can hear the actual lens focusing, and you're gonna hear that here in the next clip, and it's, it's kinda loud and like a grindy noise. This is by far my favorite photo of the day. These two people were spelunking in a tunnel that part of the Mississippi River goes to. And these photos is actually the same one. I just cropped them to kind of get a different look to it. 
and here is the full size one. So I don't know which one I like better. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. It was getting a little late and I had to go pick up my wife, so I figured I would rent one of these scooters, hit the Stone Arch Bridge, get a couple shots, swing around over onto the Hennepin Bridge, pick up my vehicle, and get my wife. If you've never been on the Stone Arch Bridge, I would seriously say go check it out. It's really nice. It's fun, it's iconic, it's awesome. Of all the photos I have taken today, these ones really capture just how much smoke that there was. One thing I do want to add before the end of this video is that all these photos were done in aperture priority mode. I find that it's just so much easier with this camera to whip it out, snap a shot, and be done when you have it in aperture priority. So I generally had my aperture set at about eight and my ISO locked in at 200 only. As we come up to the conclusion of this video, I have to say that this camera is an absolute delight. It's small, it's lightweight, it's inexpensive. And when you compare it to like point and shoots that are roughly the same size, and shooting at about the same capability for photos, they are significantly more expensive. Like I said, you can get this camera for less than $200 with a lens. And not only that, you have hundreds possibly lenses to choose from that you can put onto this camera. We're talking long telephoto lenses, macro lenses, very small, short, stubby street lenses, wide angle lenses, fisheye lenses, you name it, they're out there. Lens Baby makes a ton of lenses that are like very artistic. You can choose those. So it's almost like having a full-fledged camera. Well, it is a full-fledged camera. You can do everything with this that you can with a full-on camera. The only difference is, is the size and the size of the sensor. The sensor is a little bit smaller. However, most point and shoots have like one inch sensors, unless you're talking about like the Fujis and the Rico and a couple others out there that have like APS-C or even some have full frame sensors built into them. But those also are significantly more expensive. So again, thank you for watching. Please click that subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.